fellow Canvas users and Delta faculty members. My name is Aaron Garner, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create accordions and tabs in Canvas using design tools by City Labs. Now, if you don't know what accordions and tabs are by the name, once I show you, you'll say, oh yeah, I know what those are. You've seen them dozens of times on the internet. Let's start out by looking at this page that I have up here, made in Canvas. And um, it's just a typical Canvas page with graphics and text. There's certainly nothing wrong with this page. In fact, I think it looks pretty good. But I think that this would be a really good candidate to use an accordion. And that's exactly what I've done. So let's head on over to the page that I did. This is a page with the exact information, but that information is contained within an accordion. So you can see how this is a great organizational tool. And in my opinion, it really helps the student focus on one concept at a time. And I think that's one of the big advantages. Plus the fact that it does make the page a lot smaller. And to me, that can be a little less intimidating to a student. Okay, let's stop blabbing. Let's head on over to a new page and see how we can create this accordion. And then after that, we'll look at tabs. Okay, we're back and we're in a brand new page with the rich content editor showing. This will work with any page or assignment where any place where there's a rich content editor. All right, so I need to show the tools. And to do that, I'm gonna click on this little tab the way I have it set up. If you want more information on how to hide and unhide the tools, you can watch my video called Revealing the Tools. But for now, just make sure that you click on the three keys, Alt, Shift, and the letter D. It's Option on a Mac, by the way. And then the tools will appear. Now, one thing to, to keep in mind is that if you want information uh, at the very beginning, at the top of the page, then I would advise adding a content block. Now I won't go into the details of this, but you're just going to click on this add content block here. And you've got some, some pre-made choices. I'm going to just make my own by clicking in this field. It's very easy. Uh, let's just say I want this to be introduction uh, information. So that's all you do. Just click the title, click on this plus sign, and now it will add this box. And now I can Go ahead and just put some information in there. Uh, now I can, can enter my information. If you start out with the accordion right at the top of the page, it becomes a little trickier to add information above the accordion or tabs, depending on which one you use. It's certainly not impossible. It's just a little trickier. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this because I know I want some introductory text here. Now I'm set up and I can add my, in this case, we're gonna start out with an accordion. All right, now let's close that panel and let's go to the add advanced elements. Now, one thing before I get started actually is that you gotta click on this little gear icon and make sure that you have the advanced tab selective, otherwise these tools will not be visible. Okay, so I just clicked on add advanced elements. I'm gonna click on accordions and tabs. There's not much here yet, um, but um, there will be. So there, you have two choices. This right here is a content block. All it is is just a box. You can see the blue lines. It's just a box that contains information. I can add text and images and movies and anything that I could do in Canvas, just a normal Canvas page. But this is self-contained. If I want my uh, set of panels, as they're called, if I want those within this content box, then I would choose plus uh, at cursor. So wherever I have my cursor, that it'll put my accordion or tabs in this box. If I want it to be outside of this box and have its own container, then I would choose the add block, and that's what I'm gonna choose. So you'll see when I click this, now it gets its own box. If I had chosen this at cursor, inside the, the uh, first box that I created, then that set of panels would be inside this container. So different ways to organize your information. Uh, there's not a right or a wrong. Okay, now I've got my, my uh, panel heading and panel content, but this actually is nothing. And you'll see that by default right here, it says none. Well, I wanna choose accordion because that's what I want. So I'm gonna click on the accordion and now it changes into an accordion. Now I've got this panel heading here and that's just placeholder information. 
You might be tempted to type in here, and you certainly can, and it will work. I would suggest to avoid problems typing in this field here and changing the title there rather than in uh, in this edit uh, the rich content editor. And the reason why is that you can have some formatting issues with fonts and sizes and different things like that. So it's safer to do it here, and that's why it's designed that way. So let's go ahead and go step one. I think that was what I had in the original one. And then you see that it dynamically uh, changes. Now I'm just I'm not going to take the time to create this entire page, but I do want to just at least uh, copy this and do at least one tab. Okay, maybe we'll do two tabs. Okay, so now I've got my first uh, my first accordion window done. Now I want to add another one, so I'm just going to click this Add Panel. As soon as I click that. You can see that I get another field here. I'm going to put step two. And then I'll go over here and copy the information for my second uh, little block of information. Copy that. And now I'm going to go into panel content, select that, paste it. And now I've got two panels. Might as well, it doesn't take very long. Might as well make it, make it complete, huh? What do you think? So click this, copy, this doesn't take very long, whoops. And uh, I need to add another panel. So here's step three. And I'm gonna paste that information here. And now I'm done. Let's go ahead and save that and see what the thing looks like so far. All right, so here's my introduction block. You can see that it's actually a separate block. And then here's my accordion. When I click on the title, it opens it up. When I click on the second one, it closes the original one. And if I click on the third one, it closes them. Now that's a feature that you may not want and we're gonna look at how we can change that. So a variation on that is an expander. Let's go ahead and go into Add Advanced Elements, Accordions. Now you'll notice that that information is not there. It's not there until I click in one of these fields. Now you can see it. Now I want to change this in, uh, from an accordion to an expander. An expander is really an accordion, except that it acts a little bit differently. And let's save this and take a look. So now I have the option of expanding all, collapsing all, or just having maybe I only want two open at the same time. So you have to open and close them, but they remain open or closed. Did I say that right? I think that makes sense, but anyway. That's, that's how that works. So uh, it's a feature that you may or may not want. I think it's in some instances it might be convenient to be able to uh, have you know multiple panels open so that you can compare information. So that's a, that's a choice that you can make. And then the, the uh, third variation on that is tabs and it's really the same concept just a different way of organizing. It's horizontal rather than vertically. The really cool thing about this is that I can change these at any point. So if I click on tabs, go ahead and save that, it immediately turns it into tabs. So really cool feature, it doesn't uh, uh, change anything with the information or the formatting, it just provides you with a different look and different way of organizing. A couple more things. Okay, let's go ahead and click in the field to reveal all those things. You can uh, change the order. Obviously in this instance, since I have step one through three, I would not want to change the order, but you may want to change the order for whatever reason. So you can do that by dragging and dropping. Of course, these X's means that you can delete one of these panels, add as many panels as you want. And that's pretty much it. Now there's one other thing that's that, uh, that you should know. I'm gonna click in the very end of this last panel. And let's say that I just want to start typing freely after that. You can click on this insert paragraph after. And what that'll do is it, it will give you um, a field down here that you can type. Let's go ahead and copy this. And then I can um, have a place where I can type freely, just like you were in just the regular Canvas uh, rich content editor and I can do all the same things that uh, I would. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's see, let me see if there's anything else I wanna mention. Um, that's pretty much it. I will just end, let's just say that I wanted 
a I wanted an accordion within this introduction box right then that's when I would actually add at cursor and then you can see that it adds this these panels within this box so again just another way to organize your information so it's a very flexible system okay that's gonna wrap up this video hope you enjoyed it we'll see you in the next one